here's a summary of what we'll be covering in this project today. We'll start with a brief introduction to the inverse design method. Then we'll be looking at how the mainline design of a radial intro turbine stage can be performed. Then we'll see how the nozzle and the rotor can be designed using the 3D inverse design method. We'll also briefly look at the design of the volute and then we'll evaluate the aerodynamic and mechanical performance of the turbine based on CFD and FEA analysis. Then we'll see how the efficiency of the baseline rotor can be enhanced while ensuring its structural integrity through the use of automatic optimization with inverse design. And finally, we'll wrap up with some concluding remarks. So let's start with an introduction to the idea behind the inverse design approach which we use throughout this project. And as you can see in this workflow, these are the inputs that are used by the inverse design method to give us the final blade design. So apart from some basic parameters, the blade loading inputs are really flow related. And so once you have a good understanding of your specific flow issue, whether it's profile loss, secondary flow or shocks that you're dealing with, it's possible to come up with guidelines on the optimum blade loading to tackle each of these issues. And actually this know-how has generality which makes it suitable for all your turbine applications. And so what's interesting then is that you only need to rely on your knowledge of flow physics and then this method will work for you regardless of your turbine size or which specific speed regime it falls under. So this makes the entire process very intuitive and removes any empiricism that is commonly seen in conventional design methods. So let's look at the design of turbines in a bit more detail. So across the specific speed range, turbines are subject to flow phenomena and loss mechanisms which are dominant in that particular range. For example, as you can see in this specific speed chart, leakage and secondary flow effects are more dominant in the lower ranges, whereas shocks and profile losses take priority in the higher ranges. And in fact, with inverse design, it's possible to come up with a set of optimum design guidelines based on these fluid dynamic considerations of reducing the dominant flow losses of your turbine. And this is actually what we aim to explore through this project. However, when it comes to high speed turbines, there is usually a trade off between the aerodynamic and structural aspects of the rotor. And this brings us to our problem statement. Now, in case of high speed radial turbines, it's a common practice to use radial filament modification. While this reduces the stress levels in the rotor, making its operation safer, it takes a heavy toll on its efficiency. That's why conventional methods often involve large numbers of CFD and FEA runs in order to ensure that the appropriate trade-off is achieved, which consumes a lot of computational time and resources. So the question then is whether it's possible to come up with a rapid optimization methodology focused at suppressing the dominant losses but without adversely impacting the stresses in your turbine. And this is what we aim to explore through this project.